Yes, that is correct, Skull Collector. Bruce Dickinson Week has definitely begun. Thank you for joining me yesterday for checking out Tears of the Dragon. Bruce Dickinson Week uh, is uh, going to be a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, it's going to be checking out a lot of uh, Bruce Dickinson's tracks that I have not heard of. And if you want to join me, that's awesome. If you want to make a suggestion, that's awesome too. Some people have already chucked a few suggestions out there, which is really, really cool. Thank you very much. Today, we'll be checking out one that was, once again, uh, Mark Grote uh, has uh, suggested a whole bunch of tracks and uh, you'll be suggesting a few during this week but um yeah th this one is inertia uh inertia came out in uh, 96 uh, on the album skunk works uh which was uh, obviously was like bruce dickinson solo album type deal uh but he also did it with um, a bunch of uh blokes we had a uh, man on board alex dixon on guitar chris dale on bass and Alessandro Elena on drums and the cool thing was that this album was actually produced uh, by Jack Endino who did Bleach by Nirvana so I'm very interested in checking this out now that I believe this is the official video clip and uh, yeah we're just gonna get straight into it. No I'm not going around yesterday's video is a bit of an introduction of what the week's all about and to some new uh, people out there who haven't checked out the channel before so rock on use rock you know you can subscribe if you want to so let's get straight into this indeed <laughs> yes Inertia by Bruce Dickinson from Skunk Hour from 96, the official video 3, 2, 1. These are the pictures, these are the feelings from the front line. Living in silence, feeling the deafness like heavy smoke. Okay. Smiling with strangers, counting the days like a spring coiled up inside. Welcome to your future. Welcome Gosh, it's got a Led Zeppelin. Book of lies. Fingers crawl through pages. Nothing changes. Living here. And let's go. No wish to move. And then we kick in with the classic Bruce. <laughs> Video clip's cool. Heads on the platter. There's always got to be some creepy imagery, doesn't there? It's sort of weird, but it's nice to hear his voice not over a huge layer of instruments. Like the cool white background and the cool black background. And now we got. Oh, now we got spiders around. Six of 24 years ago, this came out. Everyone, well, hell to the yes, righty. Okay, that was a bit softer to start off with. Uh, definitely had me on that ballad sort of uh, idea moment that, that was going to be the entire track. And no, it kicked in, it kicked in with a bit of the, a bit of the, more of the heaviness. Very, very cool. 
uh, yeah, um, I'm going to be checking out some more Bruce Dickinson uh, stuff today, and obviously throughout the week, obviously being Bruce week. Um, but yeah, I, that track was just yeah. If you got suggestions for anything else off Skunk Works, I'll try and uh, check it out. Of course, it was a uh, 13 tracker, and uh, yeah, the track was uh, yeah track three off that uh, album. So um, yeah, cool. Uh, <laughs> that's the other thing I want to say was uh, yeah, uh, there was a good uh, mention here from. Um, uh, Samantha R saying Bruce's voice has been aging like a fine wine even despite all he's been through and yes it was a uh, tongue slash throat cancer that I didn't want to have to mention again but that, that, that's, what, that's what I got corrected on that was what the uh, problem was but he's here yeah, yeah, he's kicked on doing fine um, still creating awesome music and still doing his Brucey thing and probably learning a whole bunch of new skills on top of everything else he's learnt along the way so alrighty uh, I'll catch up with you very very soon for uh, oh what are we checking out oh oh, it's a, oh yeah, you'll see this I've got this volume one chapter thing going uh, to try and dip it all up so if you can crack the code you know what order it's all in alrighty appreciate your time through things use rock remember uh, yeah please leave suggestions for Bruce week or something like that I'm trying to do more than seven obviously so yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. There's going to be a lot more uh, stuff. And once again, this is all new to mine ears, which is really, really freaking cool. So, alrighty. Catch us very soon. Peace out. Use rock. Use know it. Laters. That is right, Skunk Collector Bruce Dickinson. Bruce Dickinson week has definitely started. Um, it's definitely big. That is correct, Skunk Collector Bruce. How the fuck can I say Dickinson?